John Calvin, on Psalm 18, verses 25 through 39. With the merciful thou wilt show thyself merciful. With an upright man thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure thou wilt show thyself pure, and with the froward thou wilt show thyself froward. For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but wilt bring down high looks. For thou wilt light my candle, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leapt over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is God save the Lord? Or who is a rock save our God? It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation and thy right hand hath holden me up and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued mine enemies, and overtaken them. Neither did I turn again, till they were consumed. I have wounded them, that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with the strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me all those that rose up against me. To the faithful you will show yourself faithful. To the blameless you will show yourself blameless. We ought to mark well this difference between the ungodly and the faithful, namely, that the former, intoxicated with prosperity, unblushingly boast of, the, of being acceptable to God, while yet they disregard him and rather sacrifice to fortune and make it their God, whereas the latter, in their prosperity, magnify the grace of God from the deep sense of his grace with which their consciences are affected. God, in so often delivering an innocent man from death, when it was near him, showed, indeed, that he is merciful towards the merciful and pure towards the pure. God never disappoints his servants, but always at length deals graciously with them, provided they wait for his aid with meekness and patience. To this purpose, Jacob said in Genesis 30, verse 33, God will make my righteousness to return upon me. The scope of the discourse is that the people of God should entertain good hope and encourage themselves to practice uprightness and integrity, since every man shall reap the fruit of his own righteousness. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is flawless. The phrase, the way of God, is not here taken for his revealed will, but for his method of dealing towards his people. The meaning thereof is that God never disappoints or deceives his servants, nor forsakes them in the time of need, as may be the case with men who do not aid their who do not aid their dependents except in so far as it contributes to their own particular advantage, but faithfully defends and maintains those whom he has once taken under his protection. We will, ne we will never have any nearness to God unless he first come near to us by his word, and for this reason, David, after having asserted that God aids his people in good earnest, adds at the same time that his word is purified. Let us, therefore, rest assured that God will actually show himself upright toward us, seeing he has promised to be the guardian and protector of our welfare, and his promise is certain and infallible truth.